or nor abuse her themselves with mankind. The same thing. These terms, go back to Romans now, these terms is still re referring to this news, this activity. Amen. Verse 32. Who knowing, this is what I want to get to, who knowing the judgment of God, who knowing the judgment of God, he's going to judge not only that, backbiters, haters of God, despiteful, proud, inventor, all this is under judgment of God. Who knowing the judgment of God that they which commit such things are worthy of death. Not only do the same, not only the folks that do it, but have pleasure in them that do it. Say, oh, it's all right for them that won't do it, go ahead and do it. No, it's not all right. It's an abomination. It's against God. It's unseemly. They're going to come try to convince you of that in school, in the marketplaces, and everywhere else. Mm -hmm. And ultimately, it's going to come here where we won't be able to have a service like this if you refuse to accept it. Ah, now, you've got to be convinced of this. I'm already convinced. I didn't have to wait for that to be passed. <laughs> anyway, you don't go that go. You got to get convinced of this here. They're working to convince you. That's another voice. That's another voice that's being spoken. Amen. And that's why when we come here, we're speaking it and we'll speak it. We'll keep speaking it because finally it'll get prayerfully, hopefully, it'll get there where you'll know the voice. Of the Lord. The voice, yes, sir. That that is God speaking. That's just not some uh, haters. You know, the church is the haters now. We're the haters now. You know, our relationship, male and female, is, uh, is not the normal, it's the abnormal. We have a fight. And if you're not fighting, you're losing. If you're not fighting those thoughts, these spirits that's constantly coming, and don't you think they're not coming? You know they're coming. That's why you need to watch what you're watching on the internet, on your phones. You need to make sure that you're not allowing that spirit to get in. I'm telling you, it's called stronghold. That's it called stronghold. How you know? I've been there, done it, I ain't trying. Those are strongholds. You need those strongholds destroyed. Amen. We need morals. We need proper morals. We need to get them and we need to hold on to it even though everybody else everybody else says it ain't nothing to it. I'm telling you you get hooked up in there, you wind up, you, that's where you get your rapists from. Your, your the extremists. They get so far off and stuff and they can't get no control of that beast. Watch yourself. Question. Microphone back here, Brother Jermaine. Let me on. Let me turn it on. Turned it on. Is the battery dead? Give me another mic. So. Trust me. Here we go. All right. I listen to um, Christian Radio 104.7 Ben Harbor and 91.1. And the ACLJ and whoever else, a lot of Christian uh, ministers, they're telling their members to vocally and be active, like picketing and all that. How vocal, especially those of us on social network, should do we have to be vocal about our opinions or? Do, or is that part of fighting, or do we have to be vocal and be like, no, we, that's blah blah blah. We don't believe in that. Or are you asking for it from? Are you asking members in this no. to be well, vocal well, like that? Or what I'm saying when that when you're presented with that, you're vocal. Right. So you don't have to. Be, we don't. We don't have to advertise and you know picket fence and picket no. picket lines and 
you know, scream out and throw tomatoes at folks, nothing like that, right? No. Um, no, that's that's not just that's not saying see, let me help you all this. This is not something that was just accidentally happened. This is called the plan of God. This is where God began now to weed out who's on the Lord's side. That means the age is getting ready to close out. Every age closed out. So this is all this is. This is just going to weed out who's standing for God. So, no, I'm not just going to go out there and just put aside I'm against homo. That's not going to, that, that's not going to, uh, but when I'm presented, don't ask me if you don't want to know. That's right. Don't ask me if you don't want to know, because I'm going to tell you. And am I going to stop? No, not until you tell me to shut the door, then I'm going to still preach it. Because laws are going to keep me in pass to finally shut this down. We're going back to an early church operation from house to house, breaking the bread and having fellowship. We're going back. This has just been a preparation place that God has allowed these uh, years to take place where we can function as a out in the open. Question. family where um, homosexuality is a, a stronghold with um, many of my siblings, children. And it seems like after this bill was passed, some of them were coming out like cockroaches. And um, I don't have a problem at all letting people know where I stand and where I'm at. Now my question is, when, if and when, they come around with their partners, I don't recognize them as a partner, you're just another person to me. Um, is that, I mean, I know that we still have to treat them right. Right. But, you may. as long as we're sitting at the dinner table with them or whatever, we're not saying to them that, okay, I'm in agreement with you because I know that if I, um, or I think this is how I'm thinking, that if I'm partaking in that fellowship with them, that I'm saying, okay, I think you're okay. Amen. And I don't want the judgment of God on my life because I don't think it's okay. Yeah. I mean, I've been told this week by my nephew, I can't tell you how many times that I'm a, I'm a hater and I'm wrong and... You know, I serve a false god, and I just said, you know, okay, whatever, you know, just whatever. But you know, I I I know where I stand, and my family knows where I stand, and I don't have a problem telling them right to their face where I stand. But I don't want. I just want to make sure that I don't get myself into a situation where my good looks evil. Well, your good is already going to be evil. See, you ain't going to escape that. But uh, you know, when I come in contact with that. I have a responsibility to be a decent. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Treat. I'm still. I'm still uh, going to try to save folks. That's what I've been called to do: is save. Mm -hmm. Now, if they come in here, you can come in here. But I'm going to find out: Do you come here to be saved? You come to get delivered from this adverse lifestyle? Mm -hmm. If not, you can go back out here because we don't want that here. If you won't deliver, but you think just coming here from out, we just sitting up here and this is what we're doing. You get it ain't gonna happen here. Okay, you can come here and get delivered. Yeah, so, I told you in my house because you know, I live with my dad. Wait, in this house, you're mine. Wait, 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 You know, me, me and little Jonah live in my, in my dad's house with my dad, and so that's where I come in contact with them. Right. Um, but I told you, you're not going to come in here holding hands. Mm -hmm. and you're going to come in here kissing, and don't think that you're just Right, so you come here, on your turf. Yeah. You know. Um, right. 
Right. But I, you know, I told him I still love you as a person. Will never change because you're my family. Right. But that stuff is not going to happen. Right. That's the. That's the. Did you hear that? Everybody heard that? Yes. Yeah. You know, you still got to be decent. You can't just. Walk. But I am a hater. I'm a hater. And God is a hater. I have to take no lesson on that right now, but just look up hate and see y'all saying God hate. Hey Amen. He didn't say he hate that person. He said he hate that sin. That's right. So yeah, I'm a hater. They got that right depending on how you, what you're saying, I hate. All right. Did you get your answer? Yes. Okay. My question is, um, why is this, this is a sin, right? Okay, it's a sin, right? Okay, so well, why is this sin such a big difference between other sin like adultery, killing, murder, and all that? Why is this is so big when sin is sin? So I'm trying to understand why that would be a problem when somebody will come into your house and they committed adultery and sit at your table. Not being not, not being offensive, sister, sister the Lord's what I'm saying. What, what so so what, what so what would be the difference if a person come to your house and they don't murder somebody and and got a partner come there and say, What's the difference? Sin is sin, right, brother Adams? Well sin is sin, absolutely. Okay, so sin is sin. Uh if a man and a woman come and sit at the table, come in fornication, they're still fornicators, but that's not against the natural use. That's a normal function. Right. You can get down, you can, you can, there is sin that can get so, uh, uh, Degrade. detesting. It's abominable. You see. So that's, that, and, and what, that only, not only that, what that is pointing to, that is pointing to the close of an age, what we're talking about. And who you trying to persuade somebody else who is a man to be a woman. Jesus. A woman, did I say that first? Yeah. yeah. A woman to be a man. A man. What's the difference? It's a lot there. Stronghold. But all of them are going to wind up in the grave. Eternal judgment. Without a resurrection. You see. So uh, that's the difference. Uh, I, I, I hate that. If, if, see, until you stop hating, until you stop hating, uh, until you start hating the sin that's in your own life. That's it. You both will hate the other sin in other folks' life. But I hate anything that shows up in my life like that. That's right. I hate it in my own life. I don't hate it in just your life. You see. But you gotta hate, and that's why people still is so uh, 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 permissive, or uh, uh, you can use the word neutral, but uh, they haven't hated sin. You know, see, when we hate sin in our own life, any of them, then that's when we begin to be overcome. We begin to put stuff at the door, we stop it at the door. And then sometimes people shake in your face. <laughs> you see? Either way. What's it? Basically, or not basically, my question was exactly the same as hers. Um, because of my treatment of people, I don't treat them like if, if there's a fornicator or if there's a murderer or a backbiter or whatever. For me, they all were on the same level, including homosexuality. I don't, I don't treat a, one sin as greater than the other uh, when somebody comes around me, sin is sin. And the homosexuality, the only reason that's greater now is because you're trying to make me believe that it's okay. Uh, fornicators know that they're wrong. That's right. right. And adulterers know that they're wrong. That's but right. homosexuality is different because they're trying to make it right. right. Turn the truth into the lie. First Corinthians 6 and 9. Yeah. Uh, 
Know you not that unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Be not deceived. Fornicators, idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate, nor abusing themselves with mankind, nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor revelers, nor extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of God. And such were some of you. But you are washed. You are sanctified. You are justified in the name of the Lord Jesus and by the Spirit of God. So any of them can be saved. Any of them can be saved. But what they're saying today is that we're haters because we're they're saying what they're doing is right. That's it. Yeah. And we're saying it ain't right. They're making it right. When God said it's not right, a fornicator, no, fornication ain't right. That's I think she just said. She had it in you, Brooke Hill. Go ahead. Hello. It's a shorter now one now. Okay. We'll come back to you when you get a mic. Go ahead. Get your mic. You gotta get another that one. They said you, Oh, there's there a one. There it is. No, there. It's on. All right, we need to get just that straightened out. Talk. Okay. Is it on now? Yeah. yeah. I was just wondering, talk. Sister Perkins said, you know, um, about having people at your table. And I have an uncle that way back when I was about 10 or something, he had, um, he was a married man with two kids. And he brought another woman into his house that he was adulterating with. And um, during that time, we always used to have family reunions and stuff. But he better not bring her to a family reunion. The whole family would have jumped her and jumped him at the same time. So I, don't, I was just wondering how many people would really, if your brother or your sister or your dad or somebody was really bringing an adulterate, adulteress or adulterer with them to family dinner, would you really want that person at, at, your, at your table and talk to them like they're, hi, how you doing? Nice to have you. you know, I mean, would we really go there? And then, um, and then I was thinking about, because the next step is bestiality. Oh, right now it seems like, oh, that's gross. But it's, it was gross 10 years ago. Well, 20 years ago, it was gross about homosexuality, too. But now, the next step, because darkness doesn't stop. It just keeps going farther and farther into darkness. And the next step is bestiality. Would you really allow somebody that you know to bring their dog? You know, I'm having an affair with this dog. This is my dog, and we're going to, you know. Are you, would you really let that come to your table? You know, so that's the way I've been looking at it is, would I really let that come to my house and my table? No, I wouldn't. Yeah, you got to have a stand for something. Brooke, Kevin. Okay. I like the way the words you use there, Sister Debbie, as the darkness doesn't stop, it gets darker. As the sun goes down, the shadow gets larger, don't it? The more the sun goes, the larger the shadow and the darkness is. But my point what I wanted to make was, not only is it, it's not really a greater sin, but in the sense that they've made it a law against, uh, it is a law now. It is a law. And not only that, but they're teach, they're, I've already seen where, we all know they've already teach an alternative lifestyle in school. But now they're starting to talk about teaching other things in school. And they're talking about in grammar school even, stuff I don't want to talk about. They're talking about teaching them different ways of doing this stuff. Okay. And so what's next? I mean, they're do, coming against our children. We don't, have, we don't have control of them while they're out there. We don't have control of them. So, if their best friend accepts it, there's peer pressure right there. Oh, you're accepting, you're accept, and you're, well, I'm going to accept it too. And they're not going to tell you they accept it. Right. So, this is what we're looking at. The, the darkness is growing fast. The sun is, the sun is going down. Yes. This is an article here. Beware, Brother Gary, just give me a read. It won't hold you much longer. Some Virginia students in eighth grade will soon be receiving lessons. Oh, okay. That's what we're talking about right there. Okay. So they're going from oral and all the rest of the areas. They got, because it's, it's again, we're talking about not a natural function. So they're talking about teaching them how to, to do it. They're teaching in the school. You don't think that's, that's it? And the parents what? Can't help out. And the parents can't opt out. Starting 